Dracula took another animal last night. Everyone is terrified. Lap trap. Mathra is just an old Numerian superstition. There's a simple explanation for what's happening here, and I think I know what it is. Tomorrow, you and I will set off to find the two keys to the ancient city, and... <laughs> Dr. Pythagoras, look out! Call the clue finders! So, you want to know what happens? Well, before you go on, you must use the keyboard and sign your name on this piece of paper. Ooh, now you get to decide how hard the problems in this game should be. Choose a challenge level for each subject. Level 1 is the easiest, and challenge level is the hardest. When you're done, click on the arrow. was kidnapped? We're getting there, Joni. But frankly, I don't know what you kids can do. Was Dr. Pythagoras really taken by a monster? Well, peanuts, anyone? That's what folks are saying. And there's an old superstition about a monster in a lost city. Superstition? Lost city? Monster! Peanuts? Owen! Yes. I remember reading about a lost city near here. That's right, Leslie. People say that a city named Numeria existed in this rainforest more than a thousand years ago. The wise Numerians were great inventors. They built up a great city, and they might still be in that city today if it hadn't been for Mathra. One dark night, a hideous monster named Mathra appeared as if out of nowhere. The Numerians lived in terror as night after night, the evil beast attacked the wild creatures of the forest. Eventually, the Numerians captured Mathra and locked him in a deep dungeon. But they were afraid that Mathra might escape and terrorize them again. So they left their beloved city, never to return. They locked the city gate with a golden key and split the key in two. They buried the keys in puzzles in two corners of the rainforest, hoping that this way, only the wise and the worthy would be able to enter their city. The Numerians still live in the cities and villages around here, but the location of their ancient city remains hidden to this day. Now it seems Mathra is back. And he's got Joni's Uncle Horace. Hmm, I bet Mathra took him to that lost city. Owen's right. We've got to get into that city. Ah, uh, how are you going to do that? No one knows where it is. I do. Who are you? I am Lap Trap, the Turbo Turtle. Your Uncle Horace knew where to find the two keys and the lost city. And before he disappeared, he recorded the locations on a map in one of my programs. Hmm. See? It looks like one key is in the Monkey Kingdom and the other is in the Goo Lagoon. Okay, listen up. Santiago, Laptrap, and I will go out and find the keys. Cool. Leslie and I will use the video link and be your backup. Right. Anytime you can't figure out what to do, use Santiago's red video phone to call us for help. And we can store things in my backpack. This may be dangerous, so anytime anyone needs a break or wants to see the map, use me. Let's get going. We've got to find those keys. Where should we start? You decide. Joni, Santiago, look out for that vine! Oh, Lap Trap, stop worrying so we can. Whoa! Hey! Oh dear. <laughs> What's that? I. I'm Vasco de Bongo, King 
of the Monkeystadors. A Monkey King? Listen, I'll be Monkey Owla King if you can't help us. Mathra is on the loose. He's eating pumas and parrots, and pretty soon he'll be craving a monkey milkshake. Hmm, unless... Unless? Unless you furlish chimpanzees can find the two keys to the lost city. That's just what we're after. Do you know how we can find a key? I know how you can find one of them. Just take either path across my monkey kingdom, and then cross the five rings of volcanic fire. Volcanic fire? I'd cross the rings of fire myself, but I, uh, uh sprained my tail. Naturally, you'll need sneezeberries, but my fellow Monquistadors will gladly give them to you. Of course, you may need to do them some little favors in return. Stop the presses! What exactly are sneezeberries? Little berries of many colors, uh, blue, green, red, purple, and gold. The ancient Numerians planted the sneezeberry bushes long ago. Listen, Bingo. Bongo! Bongo? Bingo! We don't have time for berry picking, we're... Without these berries, you'll never make it across the rings of fire. Or the man, I mean, monkey. Let's go find those sneeze berries. Oh, dear me. I'm Queen Ichibella, and my pet Flubberwalk, that sweet animal over there, is angry. What's eating him? I mark his feeding days on this calendar, and he wants to know when his next feeding day is. Oh, but the marker has fallen off. King Vasco sent me this scroll with instructions for finding the date. But I can't figure out what he means. If you place the marker on my Flabberwalk's next feeding date, I'll give you golden sneezeberries as a reward! Thank you so much! You've solved my problem! Sorry, Flabby dear. Today is not a feeding day. Here are your sneeze berries. Thanks for the sneeze berries, Your Highness. Afraid of monsters. I don't believe in monsters. Don't believe? You've got to believe, and you've got to stop them. Let me tell you why. Long ago there lived a monster who rose up from the deep. He terrorized the jungle, allowed Numeria no sleep. He attacked the jungle animals, left mother's cubs to weep. So the Numerians took action and set out to trap the creep. Do you believe in monsters? From ancient history. Do you believe that we were sitting pretty till he rose from the lost city hungrily? Do you believe in monsters? Flying from the sky Do you believe you'll catch that puma addict With a little mathematics you'll apply in there you don't want to know just help me rope it off on the stones there are numbers that tell you how long the sides of the pit are 
put into my paw the vine that will fit exactly around the pit. Make sure there's nothing left over. In return, I'll gladly donate a bunch of sneezeberries to your noble cause. Oh yes, that's it. I'll rope this off. And here are your sneezeberries. <laughs> Thanks. Let's keep going, Santiago. I did it again. King Vasco's really gonna be mad. I was polishing this monument to our great Monquistador leaders, and I knocked off a number plate. Could you put the right number plate back up for me? I'll give you a bunch of sneeze berries. Wow, are you smart. Thank you so much. And here are your sneeze berries. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, keep it clean there, oh keeper of the monument. I hope these sneeze berries keep the inside of my backpack clean. Let's go, Santiago. What's that? Stand back, furless ones. This is a relic dropped from the sky by Mathra. Let's take a look. Aviatron engine oil? Joni, what's going on? Doesn't aviation mean flying? Yeah. What would an ancient flying beast be doing with a can of engine oil? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Come on! Furless chimpanzees! I bet you're looking for some sneezeberries. Help me out, and I'll give you some. That noisy Mathra keeps flying over here and knocking down my address stones. I've got room over my doorway for four stones. Place the four stones from the ground up there to give me the greatest possible number for an address. Only the biggest number you can make will do. Thanks a bunch. Here, take some sneezeberries. <laughs> Thanks. Hope all your mail arrives safely. Let's go, Santiago. Hmm. No key from the rings of fire yet? Uh oh. You need to get it! You're back! I need your help again. Thank you so much! You've solved my problem! Sorry, Flabby dear. Today is not a feeding day. your sneeze berries thanks for the sneeze berries your highness want to know more about Mathra all you need to do is ask the Numerians were fearful they did not know what to do so they trapped him underground and they 
For a thousand years he slumbered, now he's risen up to feast. The whole rainforest sings this chorus. Find the key and bag the beast. Do you believe in monsters? Rising from the gloom. Do you believe our humble requisition? If you're not good at addition, then we're doomed. Do you believe in monsters? Rising from the grave. Do you believe our humble supplication? We use multiplication and we're saved. in again? Oh, yes. That's it. I'll rope this off. And here are your sneeze berries. <laughs> Thanks. Let's keep going, Santiago. I knocked the number plate off this monument again. Wow, are you smart. Thank you so much. And here are your sneeze berries. Thanks. Uh, keep it clean there, oh keeper of the monument. I hope these sneeze berries keep the inside of my backpack clean. Let's go, Santiago. You are back! Halt! I fear you will get sneezeberry juice on the sign for Mathra. I don't believe this guy. Look! My address stones have fallen again! Please put the four stones up so I can have the greatest possible number for an address. Thanks a bunch. Here, take some sneeze berries. Thanks. Hope all your mail arrives safely. Let's go, Santiago. I am guardian of the king's relics, and this is... Yeah, we know. A sign from the sky from Mathra. Let's go, Santiago. This guy is crazy. Who goes there? Be gone. All bridges across this ravine have long since been destroyed. Go back where you came from. I can get across this ravine. This is no big deal. There's a better way than that, Joni. If we move two rocks with the same weight as the big rock onto the other end of the tree limb, it will make a level bridge for us. Okay, let's do it. Hmm. Perhaps you will cross after all. The tree limb is level. We can cross. Goodbye, snakes. Let's go, Santiago. Wow. Look over there. Those must be the rings of fire, Santiago. That's where the Numerians hid one of the keys to their ancient city. This looks dangerous. Perhaps we should go back and eat lunch. 
You're a robot, Laptrap? You don't eat lunch. Let's go! Some guard I am. Ow! While putting King Vasco's money away, my tail got caught. To get my tail out of here, ow! Ooh, I, I gotta put the right amount of money into the slot, but I can't reach it. Help me out, ow! I and I'll give you some sneeze berries. Look, Joni, King Vosco and his band are still here. Should we ask them to sing again, or just go? Ouch! My tail is caught again. Please, just put the right amount of money into the slot, and the chest will open. <laughs> <laughs> you saved my tail. Here are your sneeze berries. <laughs> Thanks. We're off, Santiago. Welcome back. The, the tree limb is level. We can cross. Goodbye, snake. Let's go, Santiago. We're back at the rings. Buttons for all kinds of information.